Hello and welcome to How to Play Spider Solitaire, presented by GatherTogetherGames.com. This video will cover how to play the card game Spider Solitaire. The video will start with the general concepts and gameplay, and then get into more of the details of the game. To play, you will need two 52 card decks. Shuffle the two decks together and lay out a row of 10 cards face down. Add an additional 4 rows of face down cards to the top of the first row. Add one more face down card to the first 4 columns. The top card of each column is now flipped face up. The remaining deck is placed to the side. The object of the game is to create sequences of cards within a column from king down to ace. Once a sequence is completed, the cards from the sequence are removed from the game. Eight sequences are needed to win the game. There are three levels of difficulty that can be played. This tutorial gameplay will show the easiest variation where suits do not matter. I will explain the other levels of difficulty later in this video. During the game play, face-up cards can move to another card as long as the card being moved is one rank lower than the card it is being moved to. When a card is moved and a face-down card is opened, the face-down card is flipped up. A player will continue to make available moves. Once a player has no more moves to make or chooses to make no more moves, they will bring in a new row of cards. Cards from the deck are used to place one face-up card on each column. Again, the player will make available moves as wanted. When a player is able to complete a sequence from king down to ace, the completed sequence is removed from the layout. Play then continues. If a player is able to get all the cards into a sequence, the game is won. If a player gets stuck with no available moves during gameplay, the game is lost. Cards in sequence can be moved together as a stack. Any card or sequence of cards can be moved to an empty column. When bringing in a new row of cards from the deck, all 10 columns must have at least one card in them if possible. You may need to break up a sequence in order to fill every column. To take the game to the next level of difficulty, a sequence of cards can only be removed if all the cards in the sequence are the same color, red or black. Cards can still be moved to the next higher rank no matter the color, but when moving a stack, all the cards in the stack must be the same color. For the most difficult level, a sequence of cards can only be removed if all the cards in sequence are the same suit. Again, cards can still be moved to the next higher rank no matter the suit, but when moving a stack, all the cards in the stack must be the same suit. That wraps up How to Play Spider Solitaire. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and get more game tutorials by subscribing to our channel, Gather Together Games. Thanks for watching.